Pikmin, and that's probably what's taking their pick so long, as they get to yeah. choose, like, do we want an offlane, do we want to carry, what's our best option? Right away of all the matchups, and it's only gonna be Clink. The only team that play that hero is like Virtus Pro. So then, <laughs> and just both side lanes getting very aggressive. As well, everyone does manage to get away without dying. Still feel very bad for Tino in this off lane Kunka. He's just not been able to catch a break. He's now Bob. mid lane. Bob, he'll go for a bit of a chase onto Carl. Might have enough damage as well with the Firefly, and he does secure first blood. Just a creep wave without just copying so much damage. Palos at least is securing some CS here in this bot lane, so I, I can't say it's quite as bad as, say, game one. Yeah, definitely not as bad. And the buildup for Klinks is the weird one, though. Although they do catch Zephyr out. Oh, do they? They do. Cuckoo, gonna be unable to trade as Palos will be very happy with that kill and does even get a free salve out from his bane. Cuckoo now. You might be able to set up onto this Necrophos. Brain sap back off cooldown. Palos will move in and Cuckoo. Oh, well, he had the Ghost Shroud, but it wouldn't have helped anyway. He just doesn't bother popping it, and suddenly Palos gets a double kill on this Pos1 Clinks. That's big. You really want that Clinks to hit that early timing onto the Maelstrom. Usually we see a Glaipnir build up again from Chidori. Top top though, Bob going aggressive. Yeah. Flymon currently on fire. Freeze. Not the biggest fan of fire, though. Carl's gonna move in now. Rolling Thunder is on cooldown, but they still get a great trade. They found the Kunkka, and in fact the chase is on for Bob now. You've still got the haste room going here for Carl, so he'll move in. Try and focus down this kill. The Shanks is going to intervene and not allow him to keep going. So instead he'll take Shanks' life perhaps as the Sticky Napalm, slowing him down along with the Flame Break. Carl, he goes too far and Bob punishes him again. It's a lot, when, and you don't have the best saves from T1 at all for the lasso. You have no real source of dispels, so the lasso is always going to be a constant issue down bot. Bob showing up. That he is, Bob, in keeping as aggressive as possible as Cuckoo will be targeted on the Necrophos. Go Shroud as Bob, but that is not going to save you. Not from the Batrider. Box from Dreammaker with Chidori was mainly Gleipnir. And that's like the big timer, right? You just clip near down a group of heroes, burning barrage through your damage skyrockets, and that's when it really starts to feel ridiculous. But that is still a lot of farm Palace needs. And he's still kind of keep a little bit behind, not too far, but it's not the most flash farmy hero. Well, poor old Shanks. Just getting kind of hinted in. Look at this, John. All the stacks to be taken here by T1. Execration can't allow this to happen for free, but so much gold to go back the way of the Dire if they get away with this, and nobody's coming. They are not going to contest. Instead, they're going down bot lane to try and kill Cuckoo, but I think it's well worth it for T1. And they'll just keep fighting over these Ancients. Bob does eventually get Cuckoo down, but I still... Once that's up, even if you hit that late near timing for pilots, catching out the TV becomes a really hard prospect. And they've, I think they've got to get a little bit more here in Exit. Oh, will be able to take that double damage run away, but mid lane, Bob. Lasso is out, Cuckoo once again being the target. They really hate this Necrophos. It's Vincenzo with the Fiend Grip stopping the Pangolin mid track. This car cannot help out. Bob able to set up another kill. Citrient, you are up against a keeper from Light can clear out the wave. It's a very tall order, but they do want some objectives done here. Well, they can't even find Vincenzo here, John. Zephyr, he'll cop the stun. Carl, still looking for a way to abuse his swashbuckle with the double damage, but now Bob looking to turn back in onto Whitebot. Overgrowth is going to be there, though, Carl. Looking for that Batrider, but the Shield Clash swashbuckle is not enough. Once again, Execration. Come out on top. Away from the Clinks. He's still having a great old time. Then once you hit that Maelstrom timing, it does become a lot faster to clear out. They catch Gabby. That's a great kill. They do end up picking off Gabby. Vincenzo and Bob making it work as Carl. He might be able to punish. Or maybe not. And Carl, but if they do find the angle with inhibit, they might be able to at least find a simple pickoff for themselves. Well, they found Shanks. It's not the greatest kill in the world, but it's certainly something. Something that they need. And they'll take it. If you go ultra late game, the Terrible Blade feels a lot better. The stat gains a lot better than the Clinks. He has his output's always good, and it scales a lot better. So late game, Terrible Blade favored. Mid game, pretty even, depending on the itemization here. Well, now Zephyr are gonna drop here to Bob once again, as they will try to move on to the Bane and get some sort of trade going for themselves. But Vincenzo will drop. 
As Carl looking for a bit more now. Does move in onto Shinga BKB now on Tino. A lot more presence coming out from the Konka. It's very hard to fight into the boat, and they are hunting here. They are. Well, Thunder is out. Carl gonna move in. Bob, he's a massive kickoff. You don't want to lose this guy right now. Nightmare, it's not gonna be enough. That's a big one. Carl will be happy with that, but now the turnaround. Tino will throw the boat in. Talos going for the burning barrage, but a big overgrowth out. It's got four heroes, but where's the follow-up? It's actually Cuckoo that drops. In fact, Carl, he even went down to Tino. It's a great team fight for execration if they can make their way out, but they are falling slowly but surely as the blinding light comes through. They all just melt. It was a great start, John. Talos, he's going to start working on towards that Eye of Scardian. Well, the exact same thing's being built up on Gabby. The top lane, pings are coming out. They're looking to try and move in. Bob, gonna show off the map for now, but oh, has he made it obvious he's there? White one's trying to bait him in, but the scan out is gonna make it very clear that he does have help behind him. So instead, they'll go after Shanks. That'll ensure Bob does get out intact. Action as well, smoke and smoke. Yeah, here we go. Smoke on smoke situation. Bob's gonna move in already with a lasso target onto Cuckoo. It's a great one to get started as Cuckoo's already dropping. Fiend Grip even committed. They'll take him down. A great start for Execration, but now Carl, he's onto the Batrider. Bob gonna drop immediately as a swap. It's not gonna be good enough. Shank's trying his best. Now the overgrowth out onto the Bane, which will mean a third target to go down. For angle to come in, they just roll up with Carl. They have Gabby Pop Meta do damage into Roshan as well. A just goes Gabby's way, and they might chase a few here. They may, Tino. He's gonna try and back out, but he is completely surrounded, and he knows the Reefer sights off cooldown. It'll be another one for T1, and, and suddenly it's a six fighting every time Meta's up. Yeah. They're just more than willing to start going. They're online with Gabby. They know the Clinks is still trying to build up onto the Scotty. It looks like the Clinks need more than that. I, I'd say BKB would be very useful for pilots to stand and fight. After that, Scotty, he can try to keep using the death pack. Oh, Bob. They do manage to ooh, kill off Bob as well. <laughs> Just build up the clinks, right? Like, you'd, you'd root mm. them down, you'd go for the burning barrage. It's not really the same build up. And we're now mid lane. Whitemon gonna set up with a great overgrowth. And that should be two to go down as Vincenzo. He'll be the first, and Shanks will be the second. No problem for team one. Talos will show up. Just in these team fights, go for the arch threat as well. He didn't have a fastest start, and I think a lot of that means that no follow-up for Bob again. And speaking of Bob, look at the damage! Like Carl just in one swashbuckle taking out over half of Bob's HP. And that'll be Bob Khan. Reaper Scythe is there from Cuckoo. Tips are out for Bob. <laughs> They're feeling themselves now. It's the tier 2 bottom tower under siege. Onslaught, that is execration when they do make their move. Oh. Swap out. Fiend's group immediately onto Cuckoo. It's a great start for the team fight. Shanks may drop. In fact, never mind. Lasso is there onto Gabby. Better be the first line. Keep in mind, he has no metamorphosis, but he does still have that BKB up to the boat. Not really going to do much. And Gabby, he's going to go for the racks and just TP out. He won't quite get it, though. The illusions do go down, but here comes Ooh. Carl now. Onto Shanks they go. That'll be one. Zephyr's still in massive trouble, so he's going to go down on the keeper. It's an execration they do so. You know that your Terrorblade scaling into the late game is you know, uh, maybe a lot better than the Clinks right now. It certainly seems that way. And you can just wait for Roche. Uh, there is still decent hold coming out from execration. Good swaps, good uh, lassers can make a difference. Over speaking of, Bob gets caught down. But, so never mind. Never mind indeed, John. Quick rotations from T1 as Gabby will hand the tip over to Bob. Come on may not be the target you really want to start on, especially considering Whitemon does have friends around, so instead they're going to try on Carl. Fiend's Grip is stacked up on top of the lasso. Can they actually get the kill though? Overgrowth, maybe buying some time as Carl. He's going to roll up. There's your rolling thunder. He should still drop, but no, he's out of there. Oh, he is well and truly out as Palace is still chasing him down, but he can't keep up. He'll pop the BKB eventually, but they are ignoring him completely. Gabby. Trying to find a target to hit, may have to settle for Tino. The BKB is popped, Tino, still not going to make it out. Just too much right click damage. But they've got about a minute and a half to try and figure out how they're going to try and fight against it. Alos? Very far forward. Solarbind is there. They don't even need the Rolling Thunder yet. 
they will eventually pop it and chase down Palos. Shanks is already gone. Palos, he's trying to fight with the BKB up. Ooh. That's not going to be enough either. He just has to run. The chase continues. The roll up is there. Carl tucks the U turn. They've got the clinks, and there's your Reaper sight. It's not quite enough, but eventually, with the shield crash, they'll get it done. Is even Tino. He needs to BKB TP away from Zephyr. Two seconds. I mean, th that's all your net worth right now in execration. Just down the toilet. They'll try to push them away outside of the base, but that's about all they can do right now. As it seems like T1 might just settle for Megas. Bob, we'll see what he can get done here on this bat rider. Very hard without the follow-up damage. Carl, he's just going to roll right through on the shanks. Solarvine will be there to follow up with the Nature's Grasp. And Carl, he'll just keep rolling right through him. The Illuminate will get the job done. He'll just hold everyone else back. The base, they have one piece of forward vision, but it's not nearby Roche. So they're not going to be able to contest that properly. They might walk up the high ground. Oh, Tino, that is a very aggressive walk up. I'm not sure about that one. Overgrowth going to lock everyone down again. White Mod with the perfect initiation. They'll take down the Dream Protector, but that's about all they're getting right now. As Palace has been targeted, Gabby just wanting the clinks. In fact, never mind that. They'll go after Tino or Carl. He'll chase Palace down by himself. But can you lock him down long enough? He mistimes the blink. So Palos might actually have a chance. Or maybe not. The swashbuckle does land. Carl's still going, but now the Fiend Drip gonna hold him down. They're trying their absolute best. Palos is gonna die to Zephyr. As everyone on T1 just laughs to themselves and Well that'll be Mega Creeps in the way. In fact, that might just be game jump. Without buybacks, how are you gonna defend T4 Towers? Yeah, it feels really tough. We still have single target control. Gabby's just going for chase. Oh. Yeah, he's Why just going not? for Tier 4s instead doesn't have the most time left on well, well that's still halfway true. We should be able to clean up, force the buyback. I don't see any angles for execration. Like maybe a fountain pullback with lasso or a swap. Here we go, Bob. Find his best to buy a bit of time. Tips are already out. They know they've got Bob here, or maybe Tino does save the day. Still Zephyr just chasing him down on his own with the solar bind of the illuminate Zephyr. He's gonna take him down. <laughs> I mean, why the hell not? Keeper of the line just getting it all done as now he finds Shanks. He gets another. Fountain timing time it is. They want the GD call and they're gonna get it. Palos has seen enough. Game two to go the way of team one. I know you told me, John. Do we still have a question mark over the Clink's hero? Mm, no, not in my eyes, Mike. Uh, I feel like Clink's just has to play a lot faster, and that's why we're looking for stuff like a Glapnir, maybe an Orchid buildup. You want to be active. Because Sure, Terror Blade with Metamorphosis feels really strong. You know, it is really big, but its timer is a lot more constrained compared to Clink's in the early to mid game. And that's where Clink shines. You get an Orchid, you start eating some big creeps, you'd be really tanky, you run people down. We saw a really strong start from Execration once more from Bob. Bob plays mid amazingly well. He had a really strong.